Hey guys, it's Sajik Dan one again here, back again with another unboxing video for you guys. Today we're going to be doing yet another Iffy Online Store exclusive unboxing. And this is for a series that I really enjoy. But today we're going to be unboxing none other than the Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3 V Generation Limited Edition. That's certainly a mouthful. But for those who don't know what the Rebirth 3 is, it is essentially a remake slash port of Hyper Dimension Neptunia Victory for the PS3, and that's what all these Rebirth games are. If you're confused, they're all kind of like remakes and ports for the Vita from the PS3 originals, based off the PS3 originals. So I'm really looking forward to checking this out, obviously. So what do you say we delve into the contents of Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3 Limited Edition? Okay guys, here we are with the actual unboxing for Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3 V Generation Limited Edition. As you can see, we have the box in front of us, and as mentioned before, this was sold through Ify's online store. Retailed for $57.99 like the rest of their Vita sets. And this is very similar to Rebirth 2 and Hyper Devotion Noir set, where it's essentially just like a slip box and you slide off the top. Okay guys, and here we have a closer look at the box. We got a shot at the logo there. Take a look at the nice artwork here. And the box art is pretty much identical to the Japanese limit edition box art, which a lot of these companies do. The shot at one of the sides, we just have the logo, which is the same as the other side. Top and bottom don't have anything special. And on the back of the box, like the rest of their sets, we just have a list of all the contents included. So let's start going through the set. Okay guys, and as mentioned before, this box is essentially like a slip box, so we're just going to go ahead and slide off the top. And as we remove it, we have a shot at all the contents, so obviously we have one of the main contents right away. Okay guys, and here we have a closer look at the Don't Judge Me mouse pad. And this is this is a mouse pad, and hey, it could be significantly worse like a certain Xbox 360 limited edition, which came with a certain mouse pad. But here we have a mouse pad, it has purple heart and iris heart, so pretty cool. And with regards to the mouse pad construction itself, it's actually a pretty good mouse pad. It's got like a soft kind of finish, and unlike some mouse pads which are kind of like thinner and tend to like bend up over time this has like a nice sticker material so that's really nice and it's really really soft but let's take a closer look at the artwork and on the mouse pad we have a logo and as mentioned before it has purple and iris heart in some really revealing outfits and really provocative poses wouldn't be a neptunia game without some fan service so there's a mouse pad for you guys. Okay, and as we remove the mouse pad, we have a shot at the next item in the set, which is kind of important, that's the game. So let's take a closer look at the game. Here we have the game for the PS Vita, Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3 V Generation. As mentioned before, this is a remake port of Hyper Dimension Neptunia Victory for the PS3. A closer look at the cover, shot at the side, and a shot at the back of the game for you. So there's the game for the PS Vita. Okay, and as we remove the tray housing the game, we have a shot at the next item in the set, and that's the art book, so let's check out the art book. Okay, and here we have a closer look at the art book. We have the nice cover art, which is the same as the art book on the game. It has purple and iris art. The logo. On the side, it just says Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3 V Generation. And on the back of the art book, we have nothing special. Let's take a quick skim through of the art book. It's a nice hardcover art book too. When we open it up, we have a list of the table of contents. It's got roughly around 40 plus pages. And as we crack open the art book, it mainly covers characters in the beginning with some write-ups. Of course, I have to share waifu here, no more. Here we have young IF and Kampa, which is adorable. Here we have some of the main enemies and main bosses in the game. And as we skim past all the character stuff, it goes into like gallery artwork. Which is mainly all the kind of like CG stills from the game and all that. Here we have the main key art for the game. Here we have the limited edition artwork. And then as mentioned before it just kind of goes into like CG stills from the game. Event scenes and stuff like that. Here we have the artwork that was used for the mouse pad. And here's a nice shot at purple art. And then there's that image <laughs> to end off the art book. So there's the art book for you guys. And as we remove the art book from the set, we have one of our last items in front of us, and that's this interesting little paper craft figure of Purple Heart, so let's check this out. Okay, and here we have a closer look at the Purple Heart paper craft figure. It has a shot at Purple Heart there, and then it has a shot of how it's supposed to look when it's done. It's kind of like this cute little paper craft figure. I'm personally probably not going to put this together because I'm personally really bad at this kind of stuff. I know I'd find a way to mess it up. And if you're not familiar with paper crafts, it's essentially building like mini figures out of paper 
So you really carefully remove all the parts and then they have like tabs that you kind of got to fold and you got to be really careful and kind of fold stuff together to kind of form the figure. Okay guys, and that'll pretty much do it for my unboxing on the Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 3 V Generation Limited Edition. As mentioned before, the set was available through Ify's online store. And as you can see, we have all the contents in front of us. All the contents come in this wonderful big slip box with really nice and cute artwork. We have the game for the PS Vita, which is also PlayStation TV compatible. We have the hardcover art book with about 42 pages, with various character write-ups, character artwork, event stills, and CG's illustrations. We have the cute Purple Heart paper craft figure, and the really nicely made mouse pad with a nice provocative image there of Purple Heart and Iris Heart. So that's pretty much all the contents for the set guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video, and until next time, please take it easy guys. Bye guys.